I'm here with Gabriele Chiani, yes. the captain of Firenze, and you played your last match here, Champions Cup this year, and you got a victory. Uh, what's your evaluation of the, the club and what's happened? Um, let's talk about the tournament. We were here with a bunch of new guys, um, no experience, so very, very few experience. So we, we have to um, try to stick all together, try to um, find our game. And we grew up along the matches. We, unfortunately, we were with stronger teams than us in the rounds. So we have to face Bamberg, which is in the final match now. And I hope it's going well this, <laughs> this time. And um, after that, we, we were with the Turkish. Strong, too strong for us, a very organized team, strong physically. And Wien, that has very, very much more experience than us at the moment, globally. Uh, well, in the finals, we had the chance to uh, face teams more at our level, and we had the chance to uh, express our game better and what we learned in the in the past matches. Uh, I think we are happy now of what was the game yesterday. We had such fun with the, the guys from Switzerland. We we took each other with the with the team captain Piccolo of the other team, and they were as happy as us to, to play against. Okay, we, we won at the penalty throws, but it was draw game in the regular time. So it's always fun to play with them. And I'm glad to have here the team from Singapore because it means they are growing up and they want to learn. They are strong, pretty fast. They still have to fix something in the organization of the game, but I like them. I, 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 I see them growing. That, that's that's uh, neat, and you in Central Europe you now have more cups, a little bit better organization, opportunities to compete. It's too expensive to go to your league, and you don't have such a team that could compete. Um, at the moment, as Italy, uh, I, I, I speak as Italy globally because we we have to work. At the moment, we have to work all together. Then we will think to to work as single city, as single team. But at the moment, as a as a nation, we are not ready to, to face a competition as, as a, the, the Euro League. At the moment, we are attending three nations league. Hopefully, one day we will make both. Or uh, I don't know if it's going to work together, three nations league or Euro League, but I don't want to th talk about this because I don't have news at the moment. So, um, Tri nations league, is how many uh, clubs from how many countries? Uh, there are about eight nine clubs um the 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 bulk of the com competition it's eight nine clubs and plus we usually have a turn because they are always open tournaments so we have this um, bulk and then we invite other teams we we make an open invitation if you're not enough and um we make our competition of course the the ranking is limited to the to those who attend the whole competition in three dates this year we will have uh, a date in Italy and a date in Athens and the third one uh, at, at, at the moment I don't know. Um, but I think it could be an interesting um, joint venture, for example, with EuroLeague to find uh, two levels of playing uh, and maybe to pass teams um, uh, between these uh, two um, competitions. To be uh, ele elevated up to it, the, the winning team might be good enough to compete. Why not? I, I know there is a discussion in EuroLeague about um, creating two um, two groups because they are growing up as a number, and maybe it, uh, or uh, to find a way to accept teams or not to to the competition. I think it's a very interesting discussion. Uh, maybe we can find a way even with Tri Nations League. We'll see. We, we will see. All right. It's not to me to discuss about this. And uh, you played for a long time. Uh, what do you see in terms of change in tactics and strategy? Uh, when I, I started in 2002, and the, the game was very, very different because we had um, teams that played a, a very schematic game, especially in defensive phase. 
Uh, we had the Scandinavian teams that played, for example, I, I remember Sweden that played with five forwards. They, they prepare all the attack and then five all together. Massive attack, maximum power, uh, clash everything and, and score or otherwise go back and prepare another one. Uh, while in the defense there was always two defensive, two defensive players, two uh, keepers and two attackers and always was very fixed. Now I see even thanks to Euroleague that helped us to uh, play more games at high level in uh, two times 15 uh, regular time that this is not fixed anymore. I see um, a more aggressiveness in the defensive phase, maybe not so close defense and uh, more counterattacks, more fast game. Oh, right. For example, um, a couple of years ago, I studied the statistics of Molde and uh, I think they are they were not such, uh, let's say, beautiful defense, but they were so strong in counter-attacking and, and, and scoring that it was not a problem. Yeah. Uh, I, usually, in the, in the past, when you had a strong team, you had a, a zero-goal team. It was impossible to score a team you were unable to score against. As we saw, teams of middle-level teams of the EuroLeague, of course, could score against Molde, but after that they, they received, for example, 10 goals and it was... So it, it's a different approach to this game. It, it's, it's, a, it's a will to win instead of not to lose. Well, I, I know Italy was very innovative in football at one time to shut everybody out around the goal, but those days are gone. Uh, what are we talking about? <laughs> about football, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, just the, the times change. Yeah, time, time changed and uh, we, we understand that, uh, that you can have a, a very strong defensive phase, but if you have a mediocre, um, mediocre attackers, you can pass a game on your basket without going away and one time or another you, you take a goal. Otherwise you can have a normal defense but very strong attackers, very aggressive attackers and take the ball away and push press, take pressure to the other, uh, to the other basket. Uh, it, it's a change of paradigm. All right, well, will you be at the banquet tonight? Yes, of course, All of right. course. Well, look forward, thank you very much and look forward to seeing you there. Thank you very much, Davret.